welcome all uh, today we'll be discussing uh, a c++ program to sort the uh, elements of an array in ascending order uh, using a particular procedure called as insertion sort to start with uh, i'll be opening uh, uh, turbo c++ and then I'll be starting with new file. In order to make it full screen, I'll press F5 and then I'll use hash include. I use stream.h and then in addition to that, uh, one more uh, header file I'll include that is called as conia.h and then I'll be using or declaring a class called as sorting and then within the sorting i'll be having uh, two paths one is private and the other one is public and uh, within this public i'll be having three member functions uh, that is uh, void get data and then i'll be using one more uh, member function called called as sort and then I'll be using one more uh, member function called as display. So after that, uh, I'll close the class and then I'll start with explaining the uh, member function or writing code for the member function. First, I'll be writing uh, sorting and after that, I'll be using uh, scope resolution operator and after that, I'll be using uh, get data. So here, what I'll do. I'll get the data. Uh, for this, I need to get the size of the array. As you all know, like uh, array is a combination of or it's a collection of homogeneous items of uh, simple data items or uh, simple data types. So here, I'll get the size of the array. Uh, means to say, enter the size of the array. And after that, I'll get in. Uh, I'll be using C n in order to get the value for n, and after that, uh, I'll be uh, getting the elements of the array. So therefore, I'll say enter the elements of the array, and after that, I'll be closing and using for loop. Uh, I'll be using. I'll be getting the array uh, elements, and that is for i is equal to zero, i less than n. And then I plus plus, uh, and after that I'll close this uh, for loop, and then uh, I'll close this for loop, and then uh, I'll be receiving the array elements that is C n e of i. Uh, once that is done, then this uh, particular module is complete. That is, this member function is complete. Now what I need to do is. I need to sort the elements so therefore what I'll do I'll say void I'll be using uh, sorting the uh, class uh, name and then I'll be using sort function and uh, within this uh, I'll declare uh, one more temp variable for temporary storage and after that I require one more index index that is called as j uh, for uh, exchanging uh, later you will come to know like uh, where do I require this j now what I'll do I'll say for integer i is equal to 1 and after that uh, i less than n uh, I'll close it and then I'll say i plus plus so this is for uh, for each and every i value, I I need to check out with uh, the j value, and uh, if there is any difference between the i and j uh, array elements of the of its index, then I need to interchange it. So now I'll say j is equal to i. So I'll assign i value to j, and after that uh, I'll introduce a while statement. While j is greater than or equal to 1 so now what I'll do I have to do few uh, tasks that is if 
uh, a of j uh, that is the jth index is less than a of uh, j minus of 1 so means to say I'll be uh, uh, comparing with uh, the consecutive uh, elements so therefore then what I have to do I have to interchange uh, those elements why because uh, they are not in sorted order so therefore what I will say I am using temp variable uh, I will assign a of j value to temp and after that I will be using a of j is equal to and I will say a of j minus of 1 so means to say I will be initializing I mean I will be assigning j a of j minus of 1 to a of j and then I will be using a of j minus of 1 uh, that is the array location I will assign temp to a of j minus of 1 so now what I will do uh, the exchange is complete after this bracket I will say j minus minus because uh, we need to uh, uh, skew uh, bottom wise so therefore so after that I uh, will close uh, this particular statement so uh, for this while loop uh, this is the ending and again I will be using one more uh, brackets over here and one more brackets over here now again I will be using void sorting that is the class name scope resolution operator followed by display now what I have to do is I have to write code for this so here I will just display the sorted elements so here I will say C out and after that I will be using double quote uh, the array elements after sorting and after that I will close this I will be using for loop you know to display the array elements so for that I will say for int i is equal to uh, 1 i less than n i plus plus and after that I will be displaying the array elements and within this I will be saying c out I will display the array elements that is a of i and after that I will introduce one more uh, line just to display one below the other so now uh, the member functions are complete uh, so now I need to write the uh, main part that is void main and after that within this I will be writing the code for it now I need to declare an object so therefore I will write the class name and after that uh, the object name called as yes yes is an object of a sorting class uh, so then I will be using CLR SCR to clear the output screen and here I would like to tell you like C++ is case sensitive so capital uh, letters are different small letters are different and then I'll use this yes object uh, dot the member function the member function is first uh, I need to say get data and then I'll say yes dot uh, sort and then I'll again say I'll call the third member function called as display and then I'll close this and I'll say get ch until I see the output in the output screen that is in the DOS command prompt uh, let me not come back to the main screen and after that I will go to save as I will say sort and then I will say enter now I will press F9 in order to see whether any error is there yes of course there are plenty of errors there so therefore uh, get data is not a member of uh, sorting now yes of course uh, get data so here you can see that I haven't declared uh, it's not get that it is get data and in addition to that I haven't declared any of the uh, variables so the, therefore uh, let me uh, declare all those variables I'll say int a of 20 that is the array and then I'll declare n and after that I'll say semicolon to close the line I'll say f2 to save the uh, file and then f9 now again I do have four errors so therefore here it says in my undefined symbol so I need to define it I'll say int space so therefore I have defined and I'll say save and then press F9
So now again I do have uh, three statements. So here it says that if a statement missing brackets. So means to say I have opened this particular bracket over here but I haven't closed it. So therefore I need to close it. So again F2, I'll save it and then press F9. So now again two errors. So display is not a member of sorting. So let me check out with display. So now uh, in the prototype declaration, you can see over here uh, it should be display, um, but it is uh, spelling wise it is wrong. So therefore what I need to do, I need to change it. So remember this, the debugging is an art, you should learn it. So the next thing is again I'll press F9. Uh, you can see that there are no errors. So therefore I'll press Control F9. Here uh, the size is 5. Uh, the elements I'll say 12, 34, uh, 23 and again 56 and then uh, 12. Uh, I mean again let me assume that it is 11. So you can see that the arrays after sorting is 12, 23, 34, 56. So here, yes of course, uh, there is an error over here also because 11 uh, we are not, uh, it's not getting displayed. So therefore let us cross check with what is wrong with that because we should not by heart uh, the programs. So therefore uh, let me check out with the logical part. Mm. Yeah, so here uh, what you need to do is you need to uh, uh, display the value starting from 0, not from 1. So therefore, uh, the display elements should start, start with 0. So that's the main issue. So therefore, what I'll do, I'll say F2, that, uh, that 2 to save the uh, file and then press Ctrl F9. Now what I'll say again 5 as the size of the array. I'll say 12, uh, 23, and then uh, 10, and again 45, and then uh, 35, and then press enter. So you can see over here that 10 is the least, 12 is the next, and then 23, 35, and 45. So the basic uh, problem that we had was uh, while displaying the array elements, we had started with uh, i value is equal to 1. But we should have started from i value is equal to 0. This is how, uh, what you will do is you will uh, execute the program uh, to sort the array elements in an ascending order using insertion sort. Thank you.